Track Wrestling here in Los Angeles, United States Wrestling Foundation Gala with retired Lieutenant Colonel of the United States Marine Corps, Mark Smith, also two-time EIWA champion at Navy. Uh, training camp going on, Camp Pendleton, you've been there this week. What kind of thrill has this been for you as a wrestling guy to see the world team up close and in person at Camp Pendleton. It's kind of surreal, to be honest, Andy. Um, these are our nation's heroes. This is our sport's best. And uh, it's just an honor to be around them. Um, we in the Marine Corps look for leadership all the time, to examples of good leadership, and these guys e exemplify that. I mean, they, they live their lives with making great decisions on and off the mat, and uh, that's that's what we want to emulate as Marines. And so this is a perfect partnership for us. Um, we see these guys doing great things um, in their personal lives, and and we would love to uh, continue to watch them achieve great things in the sport of wrestling and, and be uh, examples for young kids across the country uh, to follow. And, uh, and, and they're influencers. I mean, that's what they are. They influence today's youth in making good decisions about being uh, health conscious and, uh, uh, again, making great decisions for themselves, being leaders amongst their team and their teammates in their communities. And uh, that's what we love. That's what we love about these, these athletes. And, um, you know, we're not, we're, uh, you know, the Marine Corps got a lot of wrestlers, a lot of wrestlers in the Marine Corps. So, um, it was just a natural. This was a natural fit for us. And so, being in this space and being with uh, with USA Wrestling and really the wrestling community writ large. I mean, high school coaches around this country every day invest themselves in 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 kids' lives and help them make great choices, building them into great young men and women. Uh, who are tough, resilient, and so um, we want to help them. We want to help them with uh, continuing that that journey, and possibly, you know, consider the Marine Corps as a service. If not, that's great. Um, but still, just make great Americans. I mean, that's what we do, right? We win our nation's battles, and we turn return if they become Marines. We turn great quality citizens. Um, to be great Americans, so this is uh, this is wonderful. What a journey! What a, what a great opportunity for us today. And again, humbling to have the world team living living in really austere environments. I mean, wow! I cannot believe that Kyle Snyder, David Taylor, uh, Kyle Dake, Jordan Burroughs live in an open squad base in tough, austere environment. But you know what? That's what makes them special. That's what makes them tough. That's what makes them the world's best because they're willing to do things that are outside the box. They're willing to do things that uh, make them the great athletes and the elite athletes that they are. So they're willing to try new stuff. I give a lot of a lot of credit to Bill Zadick, Coach Zadick, who had the vision and to do this when he first came up with this. And General Kennedy, um, our previous CG at Mickrick, um, said, "Hey, let's let's. What do you think? What do you want to try and do this?" And I was like, really? I don't, I don't know about that. Um, but Bill was like, no, we're doing this. I was like, okay. And uh, it's worked out pretty good. It's worked out really well. Um, I know the Marines are really proud to have them there and show them what we have to offer in terms of leadership and challenges and the way that we train and focus and prepare for our tough challenges and the battles that we have to fight every day. Um, and hopefully that cultural exchange that we um, have done here over the last couple of weeks prepares them to go back and defend a world title in Budapest, Hungary. Man, what a great thing that would be, really. Uh, win, lose, or draw, you know, we're still proud of those guys and, and uh, want to continue to do this. Um, so, yeah, it's super special. As a guy who follows it pretty closely. I do. What did you learn this week about them that you didn't already know? Wow. Um, I didn't, I really didn't, I mean, you don't know, you don't know how uh, real and humble these guys are, right? And how selfless they are. But I've, I've seen that 
and how genuine they're, they're masters. Um, it makes you want to be a better person when you see like, wow, this guy is willing to do that um, and put himself in that situation and do this. It's, uh, it's humbling. So, um, and just, I mean, wow, see, Stephen Neal, like Stephen Neal, three Super Bowl rings. I mean, that guy, and he just is just as cool as a cucumber, right? Comes here, spends time with the rings and acts like he's just one of us and whoa. You know, world champion himself, wrestler, NFL, all pro, like, wow. Um, and he, and he, you know, he's asking for more. He's like, can we do this again? You know, like, yeah. I love it. I love it. And uh, I'm like, yeah, of course, of course, we're all in. So that's what I, I don't know. That's probably the best thing for me. Awesome stuff. You have anything else for us? Let's just keep it going. Um, I mean, let's just keep winning on the world stage. And, uh, you know, to all the wrestling coaches out there, um, you guys are, I mean, I'm a son of a wrestling coach, right? My dad was a wrestling coach. He was an educator for 35 years. Um, my family, my, my mom and my sisters are just wrestling junkies and, and uh, it's in our blood. Like, we, you know, it's a passion for all of us. And uh, I would say um, keep supporting each other, keep supporting wrestling, keep supporting um, the mission of saving wrestling and because you're saving America's youth, you're saving this country, and you're doing good things. You're building something in kids. You're giving back to America and making tough kids. And, and uh, yeah, this is great. I, re I really appreciate the opportunity of USA Wrestling, what they do for this country and what they do for America, and uh, I'm happy to be part of it. Uh, well, we are. The Marine Corps is happy to be part of it.